Okay, today I'm going to be talking to you about how to purchase Bitcoin. Because uh, when I first started trying to get into Bitcoin and all this other stuff, it was really kind of confusing trying to figure out how you're supposed to get it and how you're supposed to pay for it. And really there are probably at least 250 ways that you can buy Bitcoin using various different avenues. But... The ones I'm going to be showing you in this video are the ones that I have uh, used personally and have found the uh, most satisfaction with and the most ease of use with. So uh, we'll go ahead and get started here. The first one is probably the most uh, mainstream, I guess, kind of one out there is uh, Coinbase. You can go to Coinbase.com. And, uh, this is Coinbase. They give it to you. Uh, I don't think they even take any commission off of this one. You just, uh, sign up. Then they'll let you buy and sell. Then exchange. Merchant tools. Be able to use it on your site or wherever. And it tells you some, uh, statistics. It lets you get it on your Android or iPhone. Yeah, you can also exchange it for whatever your currency is, you know, uh, U.S. dollars or uh, euros or rubles or yen, whatever it may be. So you go here and we'll say sign up. And it just ask you for your first name, last name email, password, state and uh, I guess you create an account I don't know, honestly it's been a while since I did this I had a Coinbase account for a while but I kind of decided, my normal go-to browser is Chrome but it was like I was spending a little bit too much time trying to edit all my personal info out of the videos. It's like, no, I don't, don't really want people having my uh, my email address and being able to spam me with email or whatever else. So, uh, Pale Moon, uh, one I've picked up fairly recently. It's a variation of Firefox. This video really isn't about Pale Moon. It, but it, it uh, seems to work pretty good. It's got all these uh, different uh, startup features, or startup page features to it. I haven't really invested too much time into finding out what all exactly it does, but it, it seems to be a fairly lightweight version of uh, Firefox. So yeah, look that up if you want to. Uh, I might leave a, a link in the description if I remember to, but that's certainly not guaranteed as this video isn't uh, about Pelman. So Coinbase is uh, pretty mainstream and it has uh, good buy and sell and exchange and everything. My only problem with this is that it takes like a week to uh, to get it. And what I mean by a week is it's like five business days. So if you order it on a Friday then then I'll uh, won't do it, or at least it didn't do it for me, I can remember, uh, it didn't do it on Saturday or Sunday, and, uh, then it started business days on, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then I finally got them on Friday, so it's roughly five business days, if I remember correctly, because I just recently put in an order on Monday, and I got them on Friday, so that stands to reason that it would be five business days. But anyway, you um can link your bank account or your uh I think they accept uh Visa cards and MasterCards. So if you have that then you can uh use Coinbase but they kind of uh take a little bit too long for me honestly. Um the second way that I have found is something called Circle.com. They also take uh, bank and uh, 
bank transfers and uh, credit card, debit card. These have a, a lot easier way to uh, get your your Bitcoin. They, uh, sorry, I tried to just a little bit uh, distracting. Sorry, lost my train of thought. Other stuff happening around me and everything, but uh, yeah, Circle.com. They allow uh, bank, debit card, credit card, all that good stuff right there. I haven't actually used the app. I used to just go to the site, but uh, yeah, that's that's good. They offer an app. And this this method usually only takes like a day or two, which is a lot better than five business days. It's a day or two, then you get it fairly quickly. Uh, they seem to put limits on it, which is understandable. Like I think the debit card has a two hundred dollar limit, and uh, the credit card has like a maybe. Five hundred, a thousand dollars, some somewhere around there. For some reason, I want to say two thousand, but the two thousand is for the bank, so it might just be that for both. But anyway, they're they're fairly high numbers. Unless you're like a serious trader or, what, or whatever, you probably won't even meet the limit for the debit. But you know, there that is. Also, the bank and the debit is a uh, free transaction, and uh, the credit card is. Oh, sorry, that was a video. You can go here to circle.com and get go through all this stuff if you want to. Um, and the uh, credit card is 1%, which is not too much. It's understandable, but, you know, if you're all into market value price and everything like that, then that might make a difference. The mobile app. They uh, allow you to share payments, you know, request stuff like PayPal and all that. You can scan your card with it. Uh, I already kind of went through all the stuff when I was explaining earlier, but they they seem to be really legit. So I mean, I, I've used them multiple times and uh, haven't been had a bad experience by them. So that's that's good in their favor. The last one is something called uh, local bitcoins. I don't know if it's bitcoin or bitcoins, but okay, it's bitcoins in the nest. Okay, so this one, uh, this one for some reason is my favorite, but it it's also a little bit risky, honestly, because uh, I'll just go through and and show you some of the stuff. It's neat because if you have uh, old uh, gift cards and uh, gift vouchers or whatever, you can uh, actually purchase Bitcoin from other people at their price for uh, however however many their uh, limit or however much you want to buy or whatever the card happens to be. And this is fairly instant, especially if the user is online. If it if they are online, you might have to wait for them to come online, because as far as I know, local bitcoins doesn't have like a phone app that, where they can tell you that this user wants to make a trade with this and all that. And um, they also have a reputation system: how many trades the person has done. They allow. Um, Walmart to Walmart uh, deposits. They offer a cash deposit. Um, here, let's just look through all the the payment stuff for online. They do MoneyGram gift card codes for almost everywhere, including like Walmart, Best Buy, uh, Applebee's, Chili's, uh, Starbucks, almost anything that's like a major chain or something. They also have something like called Other, I think, where you can just specify what you want it to be, or I guess you could just use the general gift card code and tell what it is. They also take uh, Walmart, 
PayPal, Google Wallet, Vanilla, Reload It. Uh, you can just read all the ones that go down through here. And uh, the thing that kind of makes this a little, um, like, not so uh, safe and secure is that uh, while you can get it for above market price on some of these, it's um, a little bit shady because some of the people that will let you sell your bitcoins to them through PayPal or uh, through Google Wallet can actually put in a support ticket saying that they never got uh, any uh, item or service and then you'll have you'll be forced to refund them their money since for some reason you can't uh, provide proof that those bitcoins were transferred which is really kind of uh, rotten and honestly I have lost a little bit of money from people like that and so I never do Google Wallet or uh, PayPal or anything like that on here or Venmo anything that, that has anything like that to do with it um, gift cards, gift cards seem to be uh, very very useful it's like you just uh, give them the code and as as long as they're reputable, as long as they have a good number of trades and a good number of percentage, people usually write pretty fairly, and you know you know what you're getting into with uh, with the reputation and all that. So that, that's good. It's also fairly easy, you know, if you just go to Walmart, then you will go to Walmart, get a gift card, scan the gift card to self-check out, and put as much as you want to, up to $200 on there, and then you do that. There's also people that, uh, let me see if I can find it, there's people that'll let you do, uh, Gift, which is actually a phone app, it's spelled G-Y-F-T. go to gift.com and then you can you can buy through your phone uh, with your credit card or bank or whatever and go through here and uh, buy whatever gift card you want to Amazon, Best Buy, iTunes, all this from over 200 retails which this is useful just even as like a uh, like a birthday or whatever gift idea you can use this but there's also people on here that take that for higher or lower some of them are lower than market price and these usually stay unless they're configured as like an, an algorithm to fluctuate with Bitcoin price some of these stay um, uh, stagnant so it can drop down to like uh, 300 and this price will still be 427 so um, really this is kind of a good one because then I can I can sell bitcoins here too like let me see uh, I have one on here somewhere if I can find the place for where oh one other uh, thing that I neglected to mention you can also do it in person you know, you all obviously want to set up in a, a very public place like a Starbucks or something. You don't want to be meeting somebody in a, a alley or a street corner or just anywhere. You want to make sure that it's it's good and uh, in public site. But you also offer the in cash option in person. That's why that's why they offer the city field right here for. Uh, they also just say generally in the United States online or uh, in whatever city. And then you go through and uh, find whatever distance you arrange a place to meet. I've never done this option. I mean, if you can get it through uh, Coinbase and Circle and uh, through, you can just buy it through Gift and go through here. It's like, there's not really much reason for me to, if you're just like, you don't want a paper trail, you just want to purchase your bitcoins in cash and all that, and that's a good option for you, I guess. They don't seem to be like at market price, really, they usually seem to be below market price. Which, um, 
I suppose is actually a good thing because what you're paying or no sorry I'm selling buying near them oh okay I'm sorry I was I was looking at the selling thinking it was buying and yeah it seems to be like you're paying more for the anonymity or whatnot but uh, still this one seems to be pretty uh, close to market price which is like 416 we just saw on uh, Coinbase so that's um, that, that's good was going to try to find my uh, seller ID. My seller ID should be uh, Madden783. Oh well, I'll uh, find it later and drop a link in the description or something. Something along those lines. Anyway, it would, it would benefit me for you guys to to buy some from you, but you can also use the other ways I uh, mentioned, that's just really if you want to do it with a gift card or have an old gift card, you know, I'll take it and I only really have buying set above the buying price by like 5% that's most people are like 15 or 20 or maybe 10 then uh, you get a little bit more but anyway just be careful if this price looks too high especially when you're selling because let's see you're selling like uh... you go through and say show more and it'll give you all these options and i bet i can give you an example real quick for paypal you should be able to like this one right here this one is way too high because you're selling them your bitcoins and they're pay supposed to be paying you this for for that and that just really does does seem a little shady because uh why would they pay you um five hundred when the going price for it now is four sixteen this is obviously someone like this is why I'm thinking this. I don't know this for sure because I've never done any uh, transactions. But just be careful if the price is too high. And like I said in general, don't use any uh, PayPal or Google Wallet or anything. But uh, that's just uh, my uh, tidbit on it. So uh, that's uh, all I have really for this video is how to buy uh, Bitcoin online. There's lots of different ways to do it. They're all uh, are there alternatives? These are just the uh, easiest uh, easiest ways that I've found to buy them through experience. And uh, you know, I'll try to see if I can find out how to uh, get to my uh, page on here on local bitcoins, and I'll put that link in the description. So uh, support. If you want to buy bitcoins, buy some for me. Mine's one of the lowest prices on here, and that's that's really all for this. You know, thumb up, thumb down, comment if you'd care to, and uh, subscribe for more videos because I do intend to be doing more videos. There a little bit. They seem to be all over the place, but I have a lot of interest and in hobbies, so I'm sure that I'll have some some video you like, if not now, in the future. So that, that's all for this video. Bye, guys. And for anyone who's wondering, this is uh, open broadcaster software.